Yo, what's going on guys? Today, we'll be playing one of the most improved cards in Clash Royale, without any balance changes. Oh man, Lava Hound first play. This could be very bad, we have no Mortar in Cycle to defend right now. We're playing Mortar Minor Poison with the Princess. The reason Princess is so good right now is because the Dagger Duchess complements it so well. If you played at the bridge, and your opponent plays something to counter it, most of the time you don't even have to respond to whatever they play because it just dies to the Dagger Duchess, so you just get basically free damage half the time. Very easy defense here. It's really important you play your Little Prince right to the side of the tower so they can't void the Little Prince on its own and get the max damage onto it. Beautiful skeletons. Honestly, pretty good start. I think by the time he makes another Lava Hound push, we'll also cycle to another Mortar, so that should be fine. I'll just go in for the Knight at the bridge here. We can also go for a Minor all the way to the back. There's no point to Minor alone, unless you have something tanking for it. Interesting Lava Hound placement. Not really sure what that's for, but we'll see. I feel like he might be trying to bait out our little Prince and try to make us play it a bit higher instead of hugging the tower like before. We don't really have too much air defense except our little Prince. Only Princess, but he has arrows for it. I'm still going to go for it like this. Hopefully it doesn't walk up at all. Okay, should be perfect. Bit of a wasted Evo Mortar, but gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. And I think we're fine. Yeah, we're playing so well right now. It's so satisfying to defend a Lava Loon push perfectly. See, a lot of the time with this deck, you just want to play your Princess at the bridge. You don't even need to defend too much with it. You have other cards to defend well, but Princess is mainly just to get tower chip damage. Gonna Princess here, then just go for the Minor, try to kill that Bomber, hopefully. He's gonna have to respond to our Minor, or it honestly might take the whole tower, or at least most of it. I'm just gonna Mortar first, kind of wanna wait on our little Prince a little bit. Okay, this could be bad, he also might try to Void, we'll see though. Okay, gonna Knight here. And we just have to try to go for a Poison, hopefully it will kill the Lava Pups as well. Otherwise, we could be in a little bit of trouble. Man, what a defense. This is so nice. This matchup can't be that good, but we're playing really well. Okay, wait, we just have to defend this. We just have to defend this. Hopefully our little prince does some good damage. Okay, I'm just going to poison here. Hopefully our tower takes the hound out quickly so the pups can die. Okay, I think that is good game. Yeah, this deck is so much fun and really good synergy together, I feel like. Okay, I'm back. I just went out a bit to go running. I looked in the creek and I actually saw a turtle and a fish. I normally never see either of those animals. I think someone might have left their pet there or something. I mean, I hope not, but it's pretty strange, especially to see the turtle. But either way, they did seem to be thriving there. There's a lot of water and a lot of stuff to do, so hopefully they live well. Alright, what is Nate playing? I think a giant deck. I don't know why he's trying to run giant. He might be streaming right now or something. Because Nate normally always plays cycle decks. Dude, I saw Nate saying that minor control is officially dead now, even though the number one player last season was using minor control. <laughs> and Nate is just a silly goose, dude. I don't know what he wants. Does he want the entire top 10 to only be minor poison or, or what? <laughs> even the minor poison deck we're using is quite strong. You can run it with Tesla instead of Mortar, but I think Mortar is pretty nice in here. Princess is alive still. Okay. Normally I wouldn't Mortar, but I will right now because we do have our Little Prince. It's sometimes okay to Mortar even if your opponent has something like Giant. Because Little Prince, the ability can always knock back the Giant. Wait, he has no Rage in Cycle. He's so dead. <laughs> He's so dead. What is Nate doing? Mini Peck is not going to do anything. We could bridge Princess. Have to log? Oh, nice. I think he just lost. <laughs> Most difficult Nate game ever. I've never had such a hard time beating Nate as I do right now. <laughs> Alright, well, that should be game over. I'll see you guys in the next match. We're up against Stephen Curry. I guarantee you I could land more three-pointers than him. Let's see how this mortar does. Three-pointer. Okay, that was very inaccurate. <laughs> okay, I guess we can't hit more three-pointers than him. 
Should be at least one mortar hit, but honestly, kind of a bad start. Nobody really plays Magic Archer, so you normally don't expect it. Oh, this might be kind of bad, but at least a couple Spear Gulpins are being distracted. You know, what? I'm just going to go for the mortar. I don't want to take too much damage. We definitely could still come back. I'm pretty sure he has Goblin Drill. The only bad thing about this matchup... Well, there's multiple things that might not be good for us, but there also are other things that could be nice, like the Little Prince especially. But the one major bad thing is that if you go for a Bridge Princess, they can just go for their Magic Archer onto it to get like twice as much damage as your Princess did to their tower. Unless you go opposite lane, but I do kind of like to go same lane just for the extra poison value on whatever they play. You gotta always try to predict the Magic Archers, otherwise if they actually get it off on your tower, you're pretty much dead. Okay, he may try to pressure here, we'll see though. Gonna Knight. I don't really know why people play Spear Goblins, I feel like they're pretty bad right now. The tower fully kills them unless the tower has no ammo left. Okay, I'm gonna go for the Bridge Princess here in a second. I know he's gonna probably try to Magic Archer though. So we're gonna have to just be careful. Okay, so look. I'm gonna Princess, he's gonna Magic Archer, so I'll go for the Little Prince and try to hopefully block it. Oh, it's still on our Princess. We do get two shots though. Okay, that was kind of worth it. Right idea, but didn't exactly work out. But still not bad. We're pretty much back in it now. He's going to drill, so I'll just have to go for the log here first. Should be good. <laughs> he failed the tornado. He tried to pull a knight or something. I don't know. Going to little prince up high, then have to block a Tesla. Okay, perfect. We can poison this away. I don't know. I don't know if we'll get on tower, but... We honestly might be able to. Okay, that, that is on tower. That is on tower. I think he just lost the game. <laughs> 1 HP Evo Mortar is way too broken. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next match. This guy should have Giant Graveyard. Guys, let me know in the comment section what video ideas you want to see next. I do like making my daily videos, but I also like trying different things sometimes. I've been thinking of a few ideas. I do kind of want to make another video similar to that $10 versus $500 Clash Royale coach. Maybe I'll have to make a part 2 of it. It did super well, I actually got almost 200,000 views. I could also make a video challenging school kids <laughs> to a friendly battle in Clash Royale, and if they beat me, they get some cash reward or something. And obviously I'd give myself a disadvantage of some kind. Okay, this guy definitely does have Giant Graveyard. The boar's gonna make it super annoying, to be honest. Luckily, Bowler isn't as popular as it used to be, though. Okay, what kind of a snowball is that? He didn't hit the Guardian, and he actually pushed the Little Prince out of the way of the Bowler, Bowler to survive it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, <laughs> I mean, decent archers for him, but still a 3 for 3 trade, so I don't really care too much. Okay, just gonna Mortar, because he has no Bowler in cycle, so it might be a bit tough for him to stop. To be honest, the Zappies will probably fully counter the Mortar here now. They actually counter Mortar pretty well if they allow the Mortar to get the first shot on the tower or something else. Oh, this is so bad. Oh no. Okay, I think this Mortar won't pull the Giant, but it's at least going to counter the Bowler. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Okay, that Knight just let the Giant get two hits for no reason. Maybe I should have played it to actually pull the Giant too. All good, though. We're still up in damage. Princess may do something. We have our Mortar up still, too, to kill whatever he plays. Okay, perfect. The Evil Barbs are pretty weak already from the Mortar Shot, and Mortar might shoot one more time, too. Okay, beautiful. I'll just go in for the Knight at the Bridge here, and then we can also get a Miner down in the back. I will Poison. We do have our three-card cycle. That's a beautiful Poison. Yeah, we have our three-card cycle, so I feel like we can probably get back from their Poison if we really need it. We'll see, though. Okay, actually, I'm not sure if we'll get back to it. Okay, not quite. Nice Evo Skeletons, though, and very nice Little Prince ability. We're playing really well so far. It's going to get worse and worse for us, though, since we're getting later and later into the game. Hopefully our Miner gets some nice damage here since his tower has no ammo. 
Can't really get any more offensive mortars at this point. Just have to go for it on defense. He may graveyard in a second. We'll see, though. Okay, gonna knight. Oh, that's on tower? Luckily, only one bowler hit, though. Oh, this is so bad now. Come on, princess, please get on tower. Man, if he had, like, dark prince or really anything else instead of bowler, I feel like this would be ten times easier. We're doing pretty okay so far, though. Princess is really carrying us in this match. Okay, just gonna knight uh, poison. You know what? We kind of have to go for the last second mortar. Luckily, no hits on the tower. Can't really princess anymore because it's very predictable. Just gotta go for it kind of low on defense. We can't really monitor either until we get something across the bridge. Hopefully Evo Skellies can do something. Man, the Evo Archers are so annoying, though. If you have arrows, they're completely fine, but if you don't, they're so annoying sometimes. Oh, no. Okay, we're kind of surviving somehow, but we're actually down in damage now. Man, what kind of RNG is that? I think we just lost already. Oh, yeah, the Miner won't really get much damage at all, either. To be honest, we played pretty well, but just a couple different things got us. Yeah, I think that's probably game over. Guess we have like one more chance to do something, but I don't think we're going to be able to break through. Yeah, it's just so tough to cross the bridge once you have to start going same lane, but you can't really switch lanes when you're playing such a, such a slow-paced deck like this one. Yeah, okay, good game. Someone needs to tell this guy to stay in his own lane. He's in a Romanian clan. I don't know how many of you guys know Rum's Rulers, but he's actually one of the people who watches me the most, I think. Definitely up there. I see him in a lot of my streams and videos and everything. He's also Romanian. But I think he lives in the UK right now. You know what, this kind of looks like Sparky, but I'm not sure. I feel like I might have faced this guy a long time ago, and he might have been playing Sparky. If he is, the Mortar Watch should be kind of nice here. Okay, it is Sparky. I'm gonna just Princess. I feel like his hand is kind of awkward. Okay, 3 for 3 trade. Yeah, the Mortar is pretty nice here, because even if he tries to go for a tank, the Mortar will still splash the Sparky. A little bit better than a Tesla, I feel like. <laughs> I don't know why he's giving me the Hog question emote. Okay, beautiful. Our mortar's still up as well. There's the giant. Yeah, the most important card in this deck is probably the Little Prince because it allows you to play our mortar way more aggressively. If you didn't have Little Prince, you couldn't really play the offensive mortars against stuff like giant, but because you do, you can usually defend with the Little Prince. But the Void is going to cause a little bit of trouble for us here. Have to go for a second knight. I think we're going to be okay, but we'll take, like, hopefully one giant hit. Okay, perfect. Alright, very good defense. Bridge Princess will also get some damage. <laughs> Wait, does he have anything to stop the Mortar? Okay, just barely got that down, but honestly, I kind of like that trade, because now he has no Evo Wizard for his big pushes. That's actually kind of worth it, because Evo Wizard behind a huge giant push could actually be quite... Difficult to stop. I do want to go same lane because if we go same lane, we're just going to get so much poison value. Yeah, like that's a free poison on the Sparky. If you go opposite lane, you're going to be in quite a bit of trouble. We can Evo Skeletons and Mortar. Nice to force up the whole Evo Zap. Wait, that Mortar is going to splash the tower. <laughs> Wait, Mortar is maybe going to get even one more hit if we're lucky. Okay, not quite, but still very <laughs> much damage on his tower. Quite a trash void. I don't know what that void was for. <laughs> Our stuff would have died anyways. We could just knight and then go for the princess and miner. He does catch the miner, but princess will still do some good work here on the tower. Okay, just gonna little prince. He could try to void onto it. We'll see though. <laughs> that pushes us so far back. 
Dude, I, I don't know how they haven't gave Little Prince a bigger nerf yet. It really doesn't make any sense. Okay, that might splash everything. Yeah, kind of unfortunate, but it doesn't matter too much. I'm just going to go ahead and poison the floor here to make sure he can't support this Sparky at all. One of my best tips I can give you guys with this deck is just to spam more defensive poisons. I see a lot of people trying to avoid playing their spells on defense, but trust me, if you poison the floor, you can pretty much defend anything. That's the biggest thing I've learned recently. You just have to go for a lot more defensive poisons. Especially when you're facing a giant beatdown deck or giant Sparky. Same thing. <laughs> okay, so he's already giving up, I guess. Dang, this was so easy. I don't know why. Normally it's not that easy when you're facing a Sparky player. Alright then, I'll see you guys in the next match. Alright, we're up against Cozy Shack Rice Pudding. I actually quite like it. Okay, this could be either Log Bait or a Mirror Matchup. Okay, it's going to be Log Bait. Oh, no ability. Man, that's a lot of damage from the Goblin Gang. Couldn't play the Knight, though. If I played the Knight, we wouldn't have got our Elixir back from the lost Little Prince ability. He may have Inferno Tower. I think he does have the Inferno Tower version. I don't know how I feel about the poison. It's going to counter our Mortar pretty nicely, but at the same time, that does mean that he can't Rocket Cyclist, which is definitely going to be a good thing. I'm going to poison here because he's going to Goblin Gang for sure. Yeah, I knew it. Might be some pretty nice damage, actually. We could just counter this with Skeletons. Oh, he went for it up front. Honestly, kind of a smart barrel. We're still up in damage, though. Yeah, the main annoying thing will be the Bridge Princess from him, but we do have Princess ourselves, so we should be okay. We're just going to have to also make sure that we see his barrels pretty well. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes, though, if it's an intense moment, whether their barrel is in the front or in the back or anything. Just gonna mortar. What will he play? Okay, there's the Inferno Tower. I don't really mind, though. I'm not trying to really protect my mortars too much. You mainly want to protect your Evo mortar. With your normal mortars, you can pretty much let them die a lot of the time, but once you get to the Evo, that's when you want to make sure you fully support it. I don't think he's going to poison here onto the Little Prince. He may get some damage. Uh, Okay, that's more than I wanted him to get. Maybe our Evo Mortar will do something. Oh, dude, if we got our... If we had, like, one more Elixir for the ability. That could have been so good. Don't really love this situation. Nah, our push is dead here. I mean, at least he has no Rocket to Rocket Cyclist, but still, I feel like we might just get chipped out. He could Bridge Princess. I'm just going to go for my own Princess. Just to make sure. Okay, gonna log this away. Knight. <laughs> okay, beautiful reaction timing. You gotta really hover that knight. Okay, terrible goblin gang. What the heck is that for? <laughs> I don't know what that is for. Miner will get... I don't know how many hits. Okay, only, only like one. Okay, really nice princess splash. A really good tip for you guys is to sometimes still go for the bridge princess even if there is a unit in front of your opponent's tower because sometimes it can hit both the tower and that unit. And that opponent really won't expect it most of the time either. That's why it's such a good play. Oh, let's go. Another princess. Oh no, wait, hold up. Oh, this is so bad. No. Oh man, if I blocked that, that could have been good. We do force him to poison the floor though, which is definitely a good thing. This might be anyone's game at this point. I feel like our cycle is pretty much the same, so it's just going to be a matter of if we can get a miner onto the tower or not. Got a little prince here. Okay, nice read on the barrel. We just have to poison everything we see. We can't really cross the bridge though, so it's not really too worth it to miner most of the time. I'm going to log this. If he barrels, we have skeletons. Okay, he's going to probably try to go in. Yeah, so we can just skellies here. Hopefully that counters it. Only one hit. Not good, but not terrible. We have to poison. And princess. Wait, I don't know if we're going to win, guys. I mean, I feel like we should, though. Unless we let a barrel get on tower or something. Going to poison now. I think we need one more poison and one more log, probably. 
Not sure, though. Hopefully our miner gets on tower for some damage. Okay, we got it, we got it. Let's go. Man, logbait players are sometimes a bit annoying. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye!